recently we have included a fun part in our conversations that we I named as one minute play and we played this with a duo before and today we got the same opportunity and just like I said excitement always levels up so the questions to you both will be stated now and you'll get a minute to think and answer so uh, it's like the not like the rapid fire round but you'll get a minute and so uh, like the first uh, question I will ask to Namia if you two both exchange your parts uh, as daughter and mother duo, what would be with the first step of both of you? So I'll start with Namia. Uh, so like that means I'll be the mother and yeah. what would be like, the first uh, thing I would do? Yeah, you'll be like uh, in school. I'm just like uh, giving an example in academics. You are the teacher and uh, Monica Mam is the student. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'll, I'm going to think a little bit about that. So you get a minute. I'd say I love to make uh, my mother, who is really going to be my child, delicious things like she makes for me. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna like get some taunts from her like I do sometimes that this is ma isn't made well. So I understand like how it feels for her or so when I say. So I'm gonna learn cooking yeah. like in a way because I don't know how to cook and I, I wanna learn a little bit because this is required as a life skill. Yeah, so uh, the turn is to Monica Mem for the same question. So I have to answer if I have been Namya and yeah. Namya being mama. Mem, your mic is on mute. That's very tough. <laughs> I very much agree with that. So, you know, uh, I would love to be Namya because uh, the way she cuddles, the way she loves, the way she cares, you know, I would love to be that. And uh, I would love that Namya should feel that, how I feel, how, how I feel. Uh, you know, when I get all that love and affection from her. So, like, uh, mother will always be mother and daughter will be always a daughter. See, Namiya, like, uh, she, uh, Monica Merit has answered uh, in a second, I can say. <laughs> and, like, uh, this is collaboration, you can say. And means I really expected uh, it's fun answers. And I means my expectations are, like, better today. <laughs> It's, it's not a fun answer. It, it was an emotional answer, actually. <laughs> yeah, that is true. And I can uh, even see both of your faces. Yes. So, uh, Namia, uh, do you, rem uh, you do remember, I guess, uh, we did play this once, but I did not name it as one minute play. So, uh, do you remember which question I asked at that episode? For what? No, uh, in that second episode uh, when uh, I interviewed you, so uh, we yeah. even played this, but uh, I did not name that play at the time, but I asked the yeah. question that's similar to this. I can't remember. I think you asked me, like, what if you become the, um, like, CEO of Minecraft and what would you do? I think that's what you asked me. The sharpest Somebody memory I've seen. <laughs> yeah. So uh, can you repeat that answer now, Namia? Uh, like I said that if I become the CEO of Minecraft, first of all, like I'd like to meet the team and ask them like how they have done such wonderful things because they're always mind-boggling for me. And second, I'd like to have a custom skin of my name that is Technocrat MJ. And yeah, and if you say that uh, like you want to also place like a uh, kind of office or something for uh, your uh, YouTube channel, Technocrate NG. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I said uh, the custom skin. For yeah, that. custom skin. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Monica, ma'am, uh, so what would you do if you get a chance to be the technology chief of India if that position is ever made? I think I'm contented what I'm doing right now. It's very vital that you should be satisfied with the things what you have in life. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm a very different person. I have never thought of becoming a chief. I'm a very balanced person. So I love to live in present. 
uh, what I have, uh, you know, to enjoy in that, to cherish those moments only, and uh, to have, you know, uh, a kind of a life with all minimum minimum things. Yes, but then if I'm being the technology chief of India, blessed. So I would want that each child should be empowered the way you, way Namya and many other kids I see on Twitter and LinkedIn. I would love that our youth should be empowered so that the future is in the safe hands. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, like uh, Namya, because uh, when today I was like, uh, been singing for this uh, one minute play, then I just remember that uh, previous episode and like uh, I was the ending of that episode means I I have watched a lot of times with my family like uh, that uh, I even asked you for uh, an introduction how of your podcast how you do it uh, yes. yeah so uh, it was was really amazing and like uh, today I I've got you both so means and I've seen the sharpest brain really today Namia <laughs> so uh, means I I just say that do you remember and you have done a lot of uncountable sessions uh, till now but this i is it's and also been months i guess it was in april or may if i remember that yeah, session yeah i think so yeah so uh, i would like to ask you to both uh, starting from monica ma'am how was the sudden play I really love that these surprise questions. You know, these gives you goosebumps also and an anxiety level also. What What are you going to ask now? You know, being the question which are related to the subject is easier to answer than the surprise questions because sometimes it is like, oh, I have answered correct or I have answered well or no. And that is the uh, that is why we call like curiosity is the best thing we should take in everything. And, yeah, uh, you yeah. know, that's that's what I say. I was, uh, you know, reading about this thing also, that if you keep on doing mundane tasks, the tasks, repetitive tasks, it, it kills your creativity, it kills your, you know, innovation. So I was really feeling low today. My energy was very low. And uh, I only message you on the WhatsApp that can be, you know, uh, shift the time till nine because I was not actually in the energy uh you know to have uh, this session but then i feel like the energizer questions like th this you know changes your mind and that's what i said that in school also when i uh, get off the routine i get up and watch something so these are the things you know add spice or add the flavor or add you know ch recharges up your mood uh, and you know get you going for the, the next day that is really true, ma'am. And, uh, you know, recently, uh, means after some episodes, I got uh, some requests from the Clippers website. Uh, also, some even direct, like from the contact form of the website, they were saying that they want to be on the uh, talk show. So, but uh, like I was singing for the next episode, because this is the 15th episode. And so, uh, like when I uh, messaged Namia, that like, uh, you know, we, I'll interview next uh, two guests. So, uh, I asked her, means who can be the guest? So she was uh, like, uh, maybe who? Then I just uh, say that uh, we'll, uh, I'll invite two guests, uh, like Monica Mem and Namia Mem. So we uh, will have two teachers, uh, the, like in the interview. And uh, she'll say, Miss, let us see, uh, because as uh, Mem, uh, you uh, have some tight sessions. So uh, Miss, I was saying that no, means uh, like this time, even I have to wait uh, for like how many days, I don't know. but. Means I will have the session with you both too, with both of you, because like it's uh like we go step by step, and this uh means for the next episode I was thinking that means this is uh one of the best iconic duos uh this year I have seen uh in like and means it's a task for me as well to means have... that's so kind of you is you know so waiting for so long because I remember that I had a hectic. A month schedule at that time and then exactly. we had a marriage and that's why this was delayed but then you know it was really it's really exciting to be here yeah means the actually the honor is mine today and uh so uh namia means i want to hear from you how was the play 
I think the play was awesome. Uh, also, like thinking uh, pretty hard on some of the questions, like what would I do if I am playing the role of a mother, and like she, uh, my mother is my daughter, and uh, like also reflecting back on the memories, like uh, when you had done the second episode, and uh, like you asked me a few questions, so I need to reflect back and then think on what I said, and then I spoke here again. That just freshens up whatever you've done till now. And I must say, like, uh, I really love uh, the way you always collaborate with everybody when they're speaking. And uh, whenever they speak something, the uh, um, like the takeaways that you uh, speak after that is also like a really good quality that you have, uh, Riyadh. So thank you very much for your kind words. And uh, I this year learned that. It's the best way to sharpen something is collaboration. And like, uh, as you know, uh, from the Clippers Child Council of India, when I uh, first approached you, that like, uh, which I'm starting, then I was uh, actually like, I was thinking of it's I did, I didn't have the concept of uh, like collaborating uh, and like making the Clippers Child Council of India. But like uh, when uh, in the third episode, I interviewed Prasidya Singh. So uh, she was uh, saying that, I mean, she has an organization, Prasidhi Forest Foundation. So she was saying that we two organizations from the Clippers actually at the time when it was not formed. So we two uh, can like do collaboration. Then uh, in the evening, because I've never done any collaboration with uh, at that time. Uh, so I, in the evening, I was talking with my mother and like uh, I was saying that what should we do for collaboration? Then suddenly I was thinking and then I realized like uh, I saw some uh, as you know we uh, all are active uh, in especially I'm in active in LinkedIn and I saw suppose like some organization is doing uh, collaboration with some organization but I have noticed that the goal is obviously the same that is uh, what we say to make the world a better place to live but for the same goal like uh, even for a goal, there is a competition going on, like 100,000 million and billions of organizations are there. But uh, surprisingly, I found that the goal is the same. So I was like thinking that because uh, 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 India, in India, we uh, like unity and diversity and we say that united we stand, divided we fall. And so uh, if we are uh, like are asking for unity, but like we are asking for unity, but we are in the different bridges, that leads to the same path. So it's like, uh, depends on us, our perspective. So means I then I from the Clippers Child Council of India, and then I'm this my next reply to Prasiddhi was like, uh, we will do a collaboration, but not with you with uh, the children of India. And it like I was and I was not even much active in LinkedIn at that at the time. And means I only uh, knew you from a session uh, where the next session was mine. Uh, in uh, Exidibles community meet, as my, I remember. So I was to, I was asked to join uh, your session. Then I first uh, met, met you. And because uh, I didn't knew, but I didn't know that. And I was thinking like, I have, uh, means the first members were you and Prasidhi. So I was thinking that means like, what will I do? Or uh, like, how will it proceed? But uh, like, then uh, slowly I saw that there are so many children working on the same goal and so many children are willing to be the change. And uh, like Mahatma Gandhi said that be the change you wish to see in the world. And like, uh, especially about, uh, as you follow Namia, you follow SDGs, uh, especially like, so you can relate to the fourth SDG, if I'm correct, quality education. So uh, you can say that Nelson Mandela even said that education is the best powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Right. Yeah. And it's like being the change. And I thought that this uh, change starts from the word C, uh, letter C, and the C will start again for the word children. And that's how uh, like the process will go on. And the C will end with the word cycle. This is like uh, the change of the children's cycle. <laughs> so uh, we go with the three words. So uh, means I just mentioned uh, this uh, story because uh, like, as you said about the collaboration so and also in the uh, second episode and especially the uh, third episode of Prasiddhi these two episodes really empowered me for and I didn't realize that uh, in I started uh, like uh, with uh, in LinkedIn I started with like uh, one or two followers and that also I uh, like invited uh, like whom I know or that was uh, I invited you in LinkedIn I invited Prasiddhi in LinkedIn to connect but uh, I didn't knew that after four to five months, it will be 4K now. 
and i and uh, like people are uh, too many but uh, this i always uh, in when i reached 3.5k then i was all even i even posted that like uh, success this i would not say this is success but uh, like i have 4k followers i have something but the success i i am happy that those 3.5k or 4k followers are today following the path i'm i am trying to lead to like uh, those bridges i just mentioned to go on the same path together joining hands cuz you don't know uh, like as the path is the same to go with the same and uh, means i really thank you namya cuz means since the beginning you have really uh, like uh, inspired us a lot and even me to go with uh, the clippers child council of india and this uh, i would say that this complete journey this complete experience i am now mentioning because i want to de- means to define collaboration this is it and means like uh, the complete answer would be this for the definition of collaboration that was really beautiful report yaad thank you very much so uh, like uh, returning back uh, to the conversation now i have a question that uh, to monica man because i have completed my question series with wonder namya even today and also at the second episode so uh, ma'am how do you see technology today and uh, back then that's a very interesting question actually so I, i can talk about when i was studying computers when i started teaching till now so the difference is if you look at today we say one one is to one device yes and when i was studying computers when it started it was one computer is to 25 yeah so the difference is here that from 1 is to 25 now it is 1 is to 1 and then if i you know the simple thing uh, i just talk about to you uh, just imagine a day without internet today so i know i'll have the mixed reactions from both of you uh, but uh, maybe you'll take it a state of a bliss if you are in a chaotic situation or you will take it a state of mayhem thank god it's not working today <laughs> so the important fact uh, is that with the help of technology the students and teachers you know both can solve the complex problems and uh, the things which which are uh, coming on the way and uh, today everyone uh, be children or old age people are dependent on the technology and yeah you know the research of uh, world economic forum uh, it says that about 65% of children maybe now it's more than that and i i may be saying uh, as for the old research that those who are entering in the school you know will not find themselves in the occupations uh, that do not exist that will not be existing in the near future and so you know it's very important that our students are equipped Uh, with all the skills that we call the 21st century learning skills and we as educators and even the learners also uh, should have the awareness that it's very important that we are you know aware for the actual need versus the expectations of the learners and it's very important that likewise you talked about the important c that is collaboration very important you know to build the competencies and the capabilities and then you talked about the very important c that is change you know it's it's now the time to change because you know change is the only constant and uh, so that you know we can uh, make uh, take a leap uh, we uh, teachers take a leap so that we can you know engage our learners and make the classroom happy and uh, i would say with the quote of uh, kenjaro tyama that uh, you know human wisdom with appropriate technology can take the world forward so that's what i you know i will sum up with technology then and now uh, and it is uh, in the safer hands like i said before also uh, like learners and uh, engage people like you like namya like to siddhi and many more it is really true ma'am and uh, like a few days ago i was uh, going through uh, 
like I used to watch videos with uh, facts. So I uh, just learned that scientists are now declaring that in the nearby future, we all will be useless. So I was just thinking that uh, the topic was that. So I was just thinking that this, it was kind of strange. And so when I uh, watched the complete video, so it was like, uh, you know, at that uh, back then, you can like see there were calculators, uh, uh, but now uh, like you have uh, cameras separately, calculators separately, then like alarm clocks separately, but now you can see everything in the same phone. So uh, like you, before you can see like uh, at that time, uh, like I'm talking about before the century. So in the end of the century, when like uh, those uh, distribution of letters, exchange of letters. And but now in like a single second, it goes through any country without any barrier. So yeah, I was just shocked to see because you can see everything is now being uh, like easier. And even you can see now we have found another method of learning that is to learn online to uh, like the virtual learning so and even now uh, it's helpful and also i was just uh, first of all i was feeling strange but then i realized it's actually uh, like because you can see we humans are with slowly getting lazy because uh, we now are expecting something that is what you call humanoids and even like uh, you can see already sophia and uh, like other humanoids are being built and like there will be some time like uh, the car self-driving cars are already uh, it's getting to launch soon so you can see we don't need to drive now we don't uh, like need to go school if like uh, the i wish it ends the pandemic but if it goes long then uh, like we don't need to go school we don't need to like uh, drive cars or when we get old or we don't need to go to office i'm saying being uh, like imagining if i'm an older person then like uh we don't need to like uh, if maybe for eating also i guess that's the last option left for uh means for humans to do it by ourselves but maybe that will be uh something else <laughs> again like um it's just imagining like there will be a machine that throws the food into our mouth and that's a fun imagination but uh like uh you can see so uh means i was then i realized it's really same and means evolution has been taken as means it has been taken place in so uh, i've seen because even my uh, i hear from my parents about uh, the technology at that time and where uh, slowly tv television was uh, launched but now you can see most people are not uh, watching television and especially in our state nowadays everything is now like in mobiles and you can see the news or you can see anything in the mobile so like uh, the mobile is the storehouse of every technology now so yeah, I can really relate to your answer. That's, yeah, that's what I say that in the past, the table was full of things, the notepad, the pen, the photograph diary, and then a lot of other things. But then all that is compact in one place, either in your mobile, either in your laptop. So that's, when, that's what technology then and now, but then I would say that being into this IT, information technology field, I would say that the human intervention, the human touch uh, should not be replaced with the technology. That is really true. And I am totally agree with that. I was also thinking the same. <laughs> and uh, I totally second it. And uh, so now uh, it's coming to the end of the session. I would like to uh, ask you for means to both of you, starting with uh, Monica Mamma's uh, feedback to the session. Like I said in between also and in the beginning as well, that uh, I was feeling very low today. I was having a low energy today. But yes, your session, your play, the questions, the you know cross section of the ideas that has really energized me. And the best thing uh, is that I really love to learn from the students. I really learned a lot of things from you, uh, the way you weaved the sea, the connection. I really loved uh, that idea of yours. And with your permission, I'll borrow and that and will use it somewhere. Thank you, ma'am. And I'm, I'm taking your permission that can I use that uh, uh, somewhere in my write up when whenever you know I'm planning to write. And this is not about permission, ma'am. And 
begin this because no, uh, I'm your that. learner, ma'am. I'm your learner. No, it's it's always I I feel that I I am the you know student of the Gen Z, and uh, that's what these shows, the Clippers, this the sketch of sky. Uh, the uh, amazing world of STEM, Wanda Namya's show, all these are the shows, you know, from which I learn. And believe me, you know, I uh, listen each and every aspect I and, you know, take down notes and learn from these shows. And it's not like that you go and hear from the big talks. The learning is to learn from you people, the Gen Z. Thank you very much, ma'am. So, uh, Namya, you have been waiting for a long time, but uh, so it's uh, for you. So, how was uh, you can give a feedback to the session? The session was awesome hearing from both of you, Ms. Manika and Riyadh together uh, talking about technology was like actually a pleasure hearing uh, the examples that you gave. I was listening to them like uh, they were pretty interesting. And also that it reminded me of like a poem that I wrote in grade three that's called Active Machine. It was like uh, uh, active machine can help the lean and uh, the ones uh, like, actually I think I don't remember the wording, it was basically about the ones who are not working, uh, that machine will uh, beat them, but the ones who will do their work on their own, that machine will help them. That's how I think the future of machines should be like, the ones who are like pretty lazy, I don't think machines should help them because like, you also have to work on your own, otherwise you'll be like slopping around here and there for the entire day. It's not like entirely dependent upon the machine. It's just like saying, can teachers be replaced by robots? No, it's not like that. We, teachers can always be assisted by robots, but they can never be replaced. That's the same thing about like these machines. And hearing like the insights from you, like I said again, really good speaker. So best of luck for Thank the rest of the coming episodes. Thank you very much, Namia. And just to add, with, I would uh, I would uh, love to recite that poem of Namia because this was the first poem she has written, sure. and uh, she has put her on the blog. If I I know we have crossed time, but I would love to read that for the viewers. Uh, sure, ma'am. So she wrote like active machine. I'll do it. I'll do it. Guess what I'll do? I'll make an active machine, which will help lazy and lean. Whoever is lazy, it will make them crazy. If lazy will not work, it will give them jolt and jerk. It will help them to come back to gear and do not work with fear. For old and needy, it will work soft and steady. It will comfort them like daughters and sons. Then come to see me making my dream machine. I'll do it. I'll make it my active machine. Uh, Namia um, is like, can you give me some uh, like sessions? Uh, can you teach me some like uh, how to uh, write, uh, like especially about poetry? Because, uh, ma'am, uh, if I'm uh, not wrong, it's she was written in grade three. Yep. So grade yeah, three. she was in grade three. So uh, like. Yeah. Uh, like that will be around eight or nine nine years. So with you were yeah. that yeah you were that young and it's it's really amazing poem just like an esteemed writer <laughs> you are writing. Thank you so much. Thank you. I've shared the link of this poem in the chat window. You can uh, if you feel like you can put it in the description app. Yeah sure. I will surely put and uh, as uh, which I really thank you both. I'm grateful to you for joining us in this uh, short conversations of a sketch of the sky. So today at the end of the session, uh, means uh, means I have now bid my goodbye. But now, uh, means to to end this session, I would like uh, as Namia, you are a host, so uh, I would like you to end this session with your words. As uh, means say it as a host, not as a speaker. Okay, so thank you so much, everybody, for joining this episode. And we'll see you in the next one. Riyadh's going to be back with another a couple of guests who are going to be bomb, like a like proper everlasting impact that uh, they're going to shower on you. So till then, have a nice day. And not each one teach 10. Uh, I'm sorry, please cut that. Each one teach 10 and also a sketch of the sky.
Thank you very much, dear host, uh, Namia. <laughs> <laughs>